at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course. Jackson was able to take the lead back on that one at 37 down. Moving on to hole number one. He should be all right over there, though. Mm -hmm. Bowers going to the flick. I don't see this very often, but I trust his forehand just as much as he does. And that's why. A little bit long, actually. Yeah. Which doesn't really miss butts. <laughs> <laughs> Logan's got a downhill putt here. Oh. oh. Mm. I've been up there before, and for whatever reason, it is kind of hard to make the rope lead. I wanted to hold two 327 foot par four. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one, uh, locals like to play it as a par three, and that's understandable. You can see what they're doing here. Now, that uh, road behind the basket has not played OB during this tournament. Most of us end up coming up short right where Logan is right now. That's that's mostly where everybody ends up. Yeah, at an AM level, if you make it onto the green down there, you're feeling good about yourself. Mm. As I said, that is not open way with it at this point. He's uh, he's getting some important strokes here on uh, at least the card. Now I would assume. No, I'm sorry, two stroke swing. Carter has jumped up to 38. It was going long there. <laughs> Bob, I'll take that cool. shot any day, yes. though. Yes. <laughs> oh, shoot. There Bob. is a left side gap here. Uh, looks like Logan's going to the Anheuser flick. I was thinking he would be going down the left side with that flick, but he might be able to get a few strokes back on this back, on the final nine here. I'm not, I'm sorry, not final nine, back nine. Of Welcome tapping in for his three. And the second round was at Pether Creek, the newest course in Morristown. Hole number four here, we got Logan Bowers on the tee, and of a sponsored out of the uh, Nashville area. Uh, it's a 200-foot 200, 200 par three. It's a dog leg left. What you're going to want to do here is exactly what Logan's done here. Just throw one, get it around the bend. It's a little different from what I would do. Throwing a forehand. He threw it right though, but low. This round took place uh, after they had already played the new Panther Creek course uh, that morning, and that course is a beast. So it's going to take a few holes for these guys to adjust as Logan picks up and with the lead at 27 down. Moving on to hole five, it's 302 feet. This has this hyzer line over the top for a lefty or a flick for a righty. It's a great line if you can hit it, but it does tend to get Yeah. Logan's got uh, oh, the longest putt here. Logan is a very good putter, so hopefully he can convert here. Mm. Mm. I would think the pros maybe are thinking this is a must get too with it having a wide open gap on the right side. But for AMs, it, it's very tuable. But R, which ties Chris and Logan up at 27 down. Moving on to... I ain't going to get that hyzer. Well, Matt Bell just showed us. But. Yeah, exactly. I was going to cut in and say that's a beautiful shot from Matt Bell. Logan going with the flick. He's got a really strong flick game. I would say one of my favorite forehands in the game. Logan's got a long putt here. He went long past the pin. And a beautiful birdie putt. There's a major day. Uh, and Dickerson are still tied at the top. We're pretty good. Oh, yeah. You've thrown the right shot. It's all about throwing the flick right. Logan with a good shot, but a, a good run. Got Logan looking to put up a two here. He's a little far out. Not quite as far as Matt was, but uh, he's got a lot of trees to deal with here. Yeah. Mm. yeah it's pretty tough over there. It's You don't really have that many angles on, mm. that, on that right side. Staring the basket down. 
he knew before he stepped up to that there was no way he was missing that you could tell lead from bowers we're going on to hole eight here 333 feet a bad roll away there very bad luckily collins stayed on the side of the hill there he should have a putt for i wonder what uh logan's two. gonna do here <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a little early, a little early on that flick. I keep the scores as he has it as the course par. So these guys, I'm sure, if they're running this for a two, they're thinking bird. <laughs> but I definitely play it safe. Not like these guys. I mm -hmm. play it safe. These guys ain't. They don't play it safe. That putt can definitely get in your head. Putting downhill, he's 31 down, and Bowers is 29 down. Not exactly sure what's going on. Work. He's scooted in or zoomed in there on the disc. You can see. Great work from Corey. Once again, Corey, as always, thank you so much for coming out and filming with us on the weekend. It was so much fun, and I hope we get to do some more cover. Logan with an absolute part job on this hole. At 32 down. Uh, Bowers at 30. Moving on to hole. As we mentioned in there. But uh, locals have found this route on the right. It's a little smaller gap, but not quite as many trees to deal with, and you don't have to try and play for a skip to get up near the basket. Basically, if you've got a, a good straight flick, you can throw it straight down the middle there. And uh, that I saw somebody do it. <laughs> it's either down the left, usually down the left side or the right side. Kind of cutting through the middle, it doesn't happen. Hill there, and then you could potentially roll down into the sinkhole that kind of looking for such a sore hole yeah you just it's like i said it's a technical if that was that's kind of crazy it's very risky i don't know if he turned it a little bit and it just happened to catch an edge but it I, landed it looked the way it landed it looked like he meant for that so i'd be interested to find out if that was intentional or if he uh just a little bit of ooh, course luck that is oh, perfect luck here at kiwanis it's a short course. It's the shortest. Uh, and still ahead by two. And moving on to hole number 12. That's a great shot right there from Dickerson. He's got a putt. You have to throw it pretty straight and get a late, late sharp fade. So mm -hmm. that's a really good shot by Dickerson. This is the final hole on this uh, front nine. Hole 12 here. As you see these guys from calling there. He's usually putting them in from that distance. Ooh. With a good putt, almost that spit was, out the back. That was there. pretty. That was just a few behind him with 32 down. Cool. Here we got Logan Bowers in of a sponsored, <clears throat> great guy. Uh, we actually got to film around with him and play around with him uh, last year. It was such a fun time down in Nashville. No surprise to see him going with the flick tree right there at the edge of the hill it looks like Logan did the same thing actually I didn't see that Logan looking to save par should be no troubles for him makes good one Carter I'm sorry Bowers at 32 and Carter at 31 down it's a great shot there. that is a great shot Logan once again, no surprise. He's got one of the best flicks, I think, in my opinion, one of my favorite flicks in the game. So no surprise seeing him going with it. There he goes. He's heading right towards it. Oh. I've played this that. course over 100 times. We know Logan's going to have no problems with this. Yeah. this. Looks like everybody picked up a birdie there except for Dickerson. Must get... Now this one, hole 15, I gotta apologize for some camera issues above where it said par four there. You can see where Dutch landed. Once again, I gotta apologize for that. Having a little bit of camera difficulties. You can oh. see here, Logan. Hit an early tree. Yeah, he hit something on, yeah. Okay. I think he hit something on the right side there. Oh. Logan was pretty far wow. out, but he ran that. Um, you gotta miss some of the trees down the fairway. There's quite a bit, but there are definitely some lines down there. Birdies and one eagle on that. Moving on to hole 16, 254. Take a putter and do a soft Anheuser toss down through there. 
and Dutch played that perfectly. Yeah. Logan Bowers here, he has uh, 42 career wins under his belt with seven of them in 2017. Mm. Tough rake on the last hole, he's a very good putter. Great approach. Yes. Dickerson tapping in for a birdie. Logan with an excellent par save. He got he got knocked down early, so it's eleven down for this round. <clears throat> Excuse me. We get caught up, and I've seen him get hung up in those trees up there before. Beautiful Ooh, flick. There you go. That's the line That's you want. That is it. Mm. He hit a tree there, and it kind of skipped him back away from the basket a little bit. Logan lining up, trying to make a birdie putt here. Great putt from Logan. Yeah. We got a tie up top at 35 down between Logan and Chris. Dutch going to the backhand. This is hole 18, 323 feet. Oh. Dead early tree. Mm -hmm. This one also marked as a par four. As we've said in the videos before, a lot of these par fours you're not going to agree with, but we do like to put what the tournament director and course designer has it listed as. Logan with a great flick. Uh, edge of the road was high enough to keep him inbounds. That's good. Logan looking for a birdie here. No, I'm sorry. This would be an eagle. This one listed as a par four. Ooh. Oh, just high and right. Doing Easy. work right there. <laughs> There's a lot of trees down through there. I know you're thinking only 323 feet, but with all those trees, I mean, that's that's an amazing feat right there. Mm -hmm. Logan Abel. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.